Shai Shai story, welcome back to Love in the House. Happy New Year's to you, it's New Year's Day. I'm in Tobago. I'm here at Tobago Outdoors Man wedding ceremony. Yes, my brother, congratulations. Thank you all for a wonderful year last year, and this year is gonna be even more great. So now you go into the wedding and see what's going on. Shine story, love in the house. Tobago Outdoors Man, congratulations. Afternoon, loving you. So this is how I'm starting my new year at a wedding. Love, love, love. The dance is tonight. I may I hold you? Brush my hands by your neck. You lay your head against my chest. Gentlemen, don't they look lovely this evening? Yeah. Put your hands together for Shannon and Natasha. You know, as Natasha walked up, she asked, she, she told me I look like I'm crying. <laughs> but I should probably say, ask her this or say the same thing. You know, I'm so happy for you guys and for the journey that God has brought you on to this place. We want to welcome each and every one of you here to this auspicious moment where we could join in the celebration of love, where we could join in the celebration of holy matrimony of our dear Shannon and Natasha. My praise that God blesses you, that God keeps you faithful to him and faithful to each other. Nothing would be able to separate them, shape them or move them, but their connection would last not only for time, but for eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. To continue with our homily this afternoon, we have none other than our beloved pastor, Pastor Bevon Benjamin. Marriage is still a blessing. In fact, God created it as a means of, of replicating his character in the earth. You see, when man and woman they are joined together 
in the right way. And they do things the right way. Marriage is, in fact, I want to say this today, that your marriage, your, what we are doing here right now is not only for yourselves. It is for your family. It is for your community. It is for society. Because when we as young people choose to do the right thing, it's a ripple effect. So I want to commend you again. In fact, I want to ask you to put your hands together again for Shannon and Natasha for this commitment that they are making today. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, Genesis chapter 2, verses 21 to 25 says, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh how many flesh one. one flesh and they were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed they went on the field and there were no goalposts what do you think will happen that will be chaos that will be confusion because where would they be scoring there must be goalposts amen in the same way in marriage there must be goalposts a commitment like this on a day like today you see many people they set personal goals i challenge you to make or to set or to follow through on those relationship goals that you would have set right be intentional about working on it acting on it so that next year, 2024, should Jesus not come, you could look back and see, we look, we have accomplished our short-term goals uh, and our long-term, and we have started working towards some of long-term goals. See, Shannon and Natasha, setting goals provides a tr the right trajectory for your relationship. Sometimes you may have to lay down your personal agenda sometimes. Huh? Love takes sacrifice and you know many times in relationships, especially now we, we are looking at pointing fingers. You should do it or I should do it or Shannon as the man. Christ loved us first. Before Bible says while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Lord have mercy. And that's why you must have that personal relationship with God. That if either of you know of any cause or impediment whereby you may not be lawfully joined together. You do now confess it, but be well assured that any who are joined together otherwise than as God's will that allow are not joined by God, neither is their marriage lawful. So Sharon, any final confessions? No? Natasha, any final confessions? No. All right. And forsaking all others, keep thyself only unto her so long as you both shall live. I will. All right. Present continuous, I love it. To the bride, <laughs> will thou have this I will man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, will thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? All right, praise the Lord. Well, we have our witnesses already standing by. Ready to see bye bye <laughs> as we continue. Hi, Shannon Akin Chance. Thank you, Natasha Patrice Wings, to be my lovely wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse, for which are all for poor, in sickness and in health, love and the church. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, I'm there to impress myself to you. I, Natasha Patrice, would take you, Shannon, and you, Shannon. 
And have witnessed the same before God and this company, and dare to have given and pledged their truck each to the other, and declared the same by the joining of hands. I, as a minister of the gospel, under the authority of God's word and the laws of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, do pronounce them husband and wife. What God had joined together, let no man put asunder. Let's pray. Shannon and Natasha, this far by faith. Lord, you would have instituted marriage and marriage is still a blessing. Marriage is one of the means that you use to multiply and to replicate your image, your character in this world. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you put a triple blessing on this marriage. We ask that you envelop them in your love. We ask that you fill them with your Holy Spirit. And we ask that even as they move from this place today and they press towards into the journey of marriage, that Lord, their journey will be blessed. We ask that you go before them and you go behind them. And just as the shepherd Sam would have said, make your goodness and mercy follow them all the days of their life. Lord, you bless them. Tell them to multiply. Bless them. Every interaction that they have, Lord, may be a blessing and all for your names. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 What if I could lose? Would you still love me? What if my body ache? And I always made you late. What if I couldn't wait? Would you still love me? Would you love me when it's hard? And our lies falling apart. If I blow skies to the gray. And my memory fades away. If you still love me. Would you still love me? What if I'm complicated? Always leaving you frustrated. Nothing's ever went quite right. So I can make through the good and bad happy inside. Love is a rest, so we must say. Would you love me when it's hard and our lives falling apart? If the things that we once knew are long ago. Would you still love me when it's hard? And the lies falling apart. And the things that we once knew all long ago. If the blue sky's still gray, and the memory fades away, would you still love me? Would you still love me? The goal of marriage is oneness and intimacy. But no, yes, you are still an individual. Yes, you are still a person. But the process of oneness has begun. Amen? So, well, everybody could see the, the sign. And soon you'll realize that as the both sands mix together. In fact, let me allow them to do it. Right, very good. As you look in it, you see the blue and you see the gray. But I challenge anybody to separate the blue from the gray for me, please. <laughs> the Bible says, What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. As you go home and you, you, you put it in your in on a cupboard or something, every time you look at it, remember that God has joined you together. And no matter what life brings you brings your way. Whether it be good or whether it be bad, because you know how life is, God has joined you together. And He say God has brought you to the altar today. The same God who is committing to keep you through the ups and downs, or whatever marriage has to bring with it. So may God bless you, may God keep you, and seal you together as one union, as one unit. Put your hands together again.
a shout out for Mr. and Mrs. Chance. All right. Let's know, let's know. D Mr. DJ, play something soft for us, please. Something, something nice. Set the tone. The sun is going down and it's looking beautiful. Mm. It's ambient. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, volume back. Yes. I want you to find the right finger and communicate the right thing. You didn't say anything, you communicate it with your eyes. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. I mean, my whole business, huh? <laughs> Very good. Hold his hand and, you know, eye contact. Find the right hand and the right finger and, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no talking. You have to communicate with your eyes. Very good, very good. Are you satisfied? Let me let me see the rings there. Ah, photographer, you see the rings? All right, good, 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 good. So you hold hands again, please. And now for the very first time, Shannon, you may kiss your bride. Very good. <laughs> Sorry. So, what did the back say they miss it? Nah. <laughs> For the first time in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Shannon Chance. Let's put our hands together for a couple at this time. Amen, amen. In my hand, I have a copy of the marriage register. Who is the best person to keep it safe? Your wife. Your wife? <laughs> Well, I give it to you. So, if anybody asks you who is the Shannon man, just say, he is my man. <laughs> Amen. Let's all stand at this time as we have our benediction. And as we celebrate their love and their union, I pray that we all will continue in peace, love, harmony, and prosperity for the remainder of this year and for the rest of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. So the ceremony was real nice. Right now is the pity are taking part and I is the official cameraman. But I really vlogging this, you know. I just making it happen for my boy. I let him know yo, this is my gift to you and your wife. Loving you. That we be talking about Tobago Outdoors, man. Congratulations to you and your beautiful wife, my brother. Welcome to the Married Man Club. My daddy had a bullet. We can watch him. When I watch him, when I watch him, it's whatever Do you mind if I ask you something? and Natasha and for the celebration today we ask that you bless the meals bless the hands that provided may the food do our bodies good and help us to have good fun good clean fun even as we celebrate this evening in the name of Jesus we pray Amen, Amen. This is the night I May I hold you Brush my hands by your neck you lay your head against my chest
All right, I come to the end of the vlog. It's my time to eat. I go and eat and enjoy myself. Thank you for a few minutes of your time. Thank you for being here with me on the first day of the year. Congratulations to Tobago Outdoors man and his beautiful wife, Lance Me. You don't know we inside stand up. It's a boy shine story 2023. We here and we making it happen. Thank you all. I have to say it. Thank you all. Mom, I love you. Black consciousness, I love you. And everybody else, it's only love and respect. Thanks for being on this journey with me today in Tobago. First official video for the year. Yes, boy. And it's only love in yours. Thank you. And subscribe. Love, 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 love. Hi, everybody. On behalf of my wife and I, I would like to thank everybody for coming out and supporting us. I right? really appreciate it. And you know, we love everybody. See you next year, the anniversary. See you next year, the anniversary. Yeah. <laughs>